All right, guys, uh, USB Loader GX uh, just had a big update. Uh, so this is version 4.0-R1282. Uh, now, this was done by WeDev and their team. I'm going to be leaving you the links in the pinned comment of this video for everything that you're going to need. So just head over to my page, scroll down until you find the wallpaper of the video. There's going to be two links. One is going to be for the GitHub page for USB Loader GX version 4.0. Uh, the other is going to be a zip folder with all the files that you're going to need for your SD card. So I've included uh, apps, USB Loader GX, Nintendo, and Wii Maw Lite. And I'm also providing a working watch channel for USB Loader GX for the version. Uh, so you're going to need to install the watch channel using Wiimaw Lite. You're going to add your GameCube games to the games folder and the Wii games to the WS folder in the proper formats. Um, you can use SD card, HD, or USB devices to run the games. Uh, so now for the GitHub page. So as you can see, it's had many improvements. I'm not really going to go through all of them. Uh, so just scroll down and check it all out. So lots of new updates. Uh, there's been a lot of issues fixed as well. So just look under the fixed section. Um, if you want to do a manual download, just go down to assets and download the zip folder. This is just going to have the apps folder with USB Lower GX. Uh, so now for the files that I'm going to be providing in the zip folder. So this is going to be all the folders. So 3D covers. Uh, this is where you're going to put your covers. I've included a text. Uh, on exactly where to get them and what format they have to be in. Uh, next folder is the apps folder. So it's going to have Nintendo, USB Loader GX, and Wiimaw Lite to install the channel. Controllers. This is going to allow you to use different controllers. Uh, games. This is where you're going to put your GameCube games. I've also supplied a text folder uh, with the format that they have to be in. A WADS folder. This is going to have the USB Loader GX WAD, which is going to be compatible for USB Loader GX 4.0. And finally, the WBFS folder. This is where you're going to put your Wii games. So I've also included a text file exactly what the format of the games need to be so they have to be in WBFS in the proper uh, format with title IDs so just simply select all the folders and just drag and drop them to the root of your SD card formatted in FAT32 and that's basically it now we're gonna get over on the Wii I'm going to show you guys how to install the watch channel and I'll show you a little bit of the latest USB Loader GX. So we're going to load up the homebrew channel. Start it up. We are going to load Remod Lite. Load. Go down to the WAD manager, press A. Press A on the VSD slot. Uh, go down to your WADs folder. You're going to select your USB Loader GX WAD. Press A. Uh, press A again to install. This shouldn't take too long. Uh, press the key to continue. Press B. Press the home button. Uh, 
uh, press the home button again exit the system menu now you should have the USB loader GX channel log so here we go now we're gonna load it up um, I'm just using my SD card for the games uh, but like I said before you can use the HD or USB device it's up to you now I've already set everything up but I'm gonna go through it to show you guys so this is the UI uh, it's a little bit different so down here it's gonna show you the different views just like that uh, next uh, this is gonna show the different sections so you got the Wii section the GameCube section these are the NAND channels the Immunand channels if you have it set up um, everything else is pretty much the same so you're gonna go over to the settings section hard drive settings uh, make sure you're using the right partition so mine is FAT32 it's the SD card so I have the SD card mode on um, if you're using the uh, USB device or hard drive make sure this is off so it'll load right into um, your hard drive now go back now for the game covers um, if you do it manually like I do just go over to custom paths go over to 3d cover path uh, make sure you set this as the path go to ok so path changed Okay, and now go back and there you go it should be all set up um, like I said this is gonna have a lot of improvements um, I haven't really messed around with this too much but I know there's a lot of uh, upgrades a lot of bugs that were fixed so I thought I would share it with you guys I will leave all the links that you're gonna need in the uh, pin comment of this video. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And on to the next one.